The Executive Secretary of Plato State Christian Pilgrim Welfare Board, Reverend Father George Gorap, has admonished Christians to cultivate the culture of love and forgiveness. Father Gorap gave this admonition during his homily at Holy Cross Cathedral, Pangshin, Plato State. CTV's Welbe Ogak completes the report. Reverend Father George Gorap reiterated that it is obvious that only through forgiveness that one's sins are forgiven and said forgiveness is mandatory for eternity with Christ. Forgiveness brings self-healing. It liberates others from the hurt feelings we have about them. Forgiveness brings joy and it dispels darkness. When you forgive, you liberate yourself from the final judgment of God. Because this is how my Father in heaven will treat you unless you forgive your brother from your heart. When you forgive, you liberate others as well. And in that way, God has forgiven them. That is how our accounts are settled. In forgiveness, no one owes anybody. Therefore, I do not say to you, you shall forgive seven times, but seventy-seven times seven. He called on the people to remain prayerful and always forgive, saying, unforgiveness leads to condemnation. So Jesus tells us today, there is no recognable limit to forgiveness. No, no limit, no specified limit, except you must continue to forgive and forgive and forgive. Not long after Jesus had taught the disciples his own prayer, he went on to obtain, explain and expand one petition in it. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you your own trespasses. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Matthew's Gospel chapter 6 verse 14. St. James goes on to say, For judgment is without mercy to one who has shown no mercy. Divine and human forgiveness go hand in hand. The priest emphasized that if Christ himself forgive at the cross, who then are human beings that cannot do the same? What the Ogak reports from Joss.